What is up, rockers? Welcome back here to another Rise of Kingdoms content. Today we have maxed out a Manitor. So this is a brand new commander, brand new archer gang. She is in here now. And we have done some battle testing in the field. So you guys can definitely see here in the report. And oh, here we go. Verification reward. Trying to prevent this from showing this to you guys. Four? Wow, that's too hard. Three? Too hard. Two. That's what I want. All right. Come on. If I failed there, I would not know what to say. Um, so today we did some battle testing. I don't know if you guys have seen the stream. So we did some Artemisia, a Manitor. As you can see, we definitely won the field going against infantry. And you can see the troop buff as well in here. Um, another battles in here as well. YSG, a Manitor, did an amazing job as well. All right. Um, Ramsey's a Manitor, once again, did a great job. Did not do a great job. It failed. All right, so that's quite interesting. My name is Shinchi42. I am in 1412. We've been doing Rise of Kingdoms videos for over three years now. And um, Rise of Kingdoms is also having this anniversary. So I want you guys to tell me the story of your game. So if you guys don't know, go into the bulletin board in here. Go to ROK. And as you can see, they have this, how did you start your ROK journey? And you can actually win some rewards in here. Fill this form out. I'm going to start filling my form out as well. Not because I'm going to get... Oh, wait, what? Rise of Kings Anniversary Gift Box. That's something unique. Plus 2,000 gems. Wow. 23-hour speed-ups. 40, 60-minute speed-ups. Wow. So one thing that Rise of Kings will probably do is they create a book. Where they put all the stories in there. So if you want your story to be memorialized, go in here and fill this up. And you can just... you know I think you can click here. And uh, drag it out and you can, you know, fill up the form. I'm going to fill up my form. But I'm going to tell you a little bit in here what's my story. All right. So majority of you guys probably didn't know how I first started Rise of Kingdoms. I was one of the first ones to start uh, among YouTubers. Um, I started when, you know, 2018, Kingdom 14. So if you look into my accounts, let's go into character management. My very, very first account is right here. Kingdom of Kai, 2.7 million power only. I was in Kingdom 14. I led an alliance there called IMM. So when I first started, actually, I don't even remember how I found out Rise of Kingdoms. I think when I found out Rise of Kingdoms, it was probably through ads. And I just looked it up on YouTube and there wasn't really making, you know, nobody's really making videos. There was like a few videos, but nobody really was creating guides into it. So I was the first one to actually create Rise of Kingdoms guides. Now, the big thing in here is that when I looked into games before is that um i just got out of a relationship that time it was a very terrible ending um it was really weird ending that i would i would never you never never ever hope it for somebody to experience it and to go through it it was really a hassle it was really a pain but rise of kingdoms was the game that took my mind out of it and, you know, I, while I was like leading the alliance, I got my brothers to join me. Eventually, we ended up going to K41. Uh, I was also in K25 after my K14. Rise of Kingdoms took a lot of those anxieties. And I was able to meet some amazing people within the game and allowed me to enjoy life. So Rise of Kingdoms to me is not just a game, but I think Rise of Kingdoms to me is a is a is is a game that allowed me to look further you know what's next to do during that time right i wasn't dwelling on you know getting into being depressed you know like thinking about like man like this stuff happened you know uh, i'm like stuck but no i had a purpose when i played rise of kingdoms i got to take care of my allies i got to take my take care of my members so that's kind of what where i kind of started with rise of kingdoms and then kind of just progresses to where we are now to where we're enjoying it still 
and to where we're, you know, we're now in 1412 with amazing, great Arabic community, and it's becoming much, much more international as well. So very excited for that. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of my story. Now, I want to know how you first started in Rise of Kingdoms, and I want to tell you this right now. You need to make sure that you fill up that form, all right? Fill up that form because uh, I want to read it, okay? I'm very interested because I know Rise of Kingdoms will probably publish some of them. All right, so... Battle test, right? Battle test. So thank you to uh, Petal. We fought them in uh, in our KVK 1269. So he shared us some battles in here. So we got a report shared by Mix. You know, uh, me and him, we talk a lot in here. He's a nice guy. Um, and he shared us some reports in here. So they did some battle testing. So as you can see that Xiang Yu and uh, Chandra Gupta rally. Uh, on a Manitor and Artemisia, well defended. This is a cavalry. This is cavalry, well defended on a calves. That is absolutely insane. Wow. Okay, another report in here. Xiang Yu William. This is one of those deadliest combo. Xiang Yu William. Again, well defended from a Manitor and Artemisia. I, I wish I could look at the buff. But this is a 1 million to 1 million. This is a good proper testing that they have done. That is absolutely insane. Um, another thing in here is that um, Ramsey's Nebuchadnezzar. All right. And a Manitor and Artemisia. So this is the deadliest combos as well. Imagine that the defeat in here is huge. Now, a Manitor is the primary commander. Artemisia is a secondary. I'm kind of curious. What if... If actually Artemisia is the primary commander for this. So a talent tree that we can suggest is like this talent tree is actually not a bad approach. So there's a contribution from Apostle of Gods. So, But I'm not sure what talent tree uh, Minx uh, used for the PTOL reports that we have seen. So the approach of getting that rejuvenate is a big thing. And you also get that loose formation so that you can receive less skill damage. So with that approach, you can cast so much faster with a Manitor, right? And of course, with Artemisia as well. And that little hit that you take is pretty much negligible with the entire battle. I think the ability to reduce the rage by 100 per second is a, it's a you know very big contribution. I really wish I could see the battle logs because that allows me to understand further, deeper into the reports. Um, definitely... You know, taking 5% extra damage from Cavalry, it seems like it wasn't really in a big effect. Um, that Garrison skill plays a big role, in my opinion. Upon taking skill damage, deals direct damage up to 3 enemies in a forward fan shaping area. If this commander is serving a Garrison commander, Troop also has 50% chance to deal another round of damage. So this is like big, big factor, and especially pairing it up with Artemisia here. So I've got my Artemisia. Um back to 60 again see seeing that report i kind of wish Nah, it's, i can't say that because i'm still going to be using artemisia in the open field probably i was like oh maybe i should not have got her to 60 because i'm, I'm in like shortage of stars as well but artemisia being not getting that silence anymore is a huge thing you can cast this further all right and with that you're hitting yourself with the skill damage and I've mentioned this in the previous video, is that this thing, upon taking skill damage, you're going to dish out further, further damages, which is absolutely insane and absolutely amazing. I, I love the combination. I think definitely, like a Manator, definitely a deadly setup in here. Um, I'm, I'm Artemisia, definitely, again, again, there's a great investment. You can still use Artemisia in the field. And what we, what we can just have seen in here as well in the report that we have done, and yeah, you know what? We're in the same, we're in an alliance, yes, but you can still see, like, if you're fighting somebody within alliance versus alliance, I mean, this is the devils. They pretty much have the same buff as us. So you can still see the difference in there. Like, right? you can still see that the value of Artemisia and the Manitor in the open field. So eventually, I probably will make a Manitor as 60 and kind of test it out in that sense. But um, really great result. I mean, even YSG. And a Manitor defeated the Guan Yu and Alexander. This is this is a gar both of them are garrison commanders. These two are field commanders, but we're able to defeat them. All right, Ramsey's a Manitor, except for Edward. That was a bad one. Don't do that. Then either it could be my talent tree for Edward. It's probably kind of set up for Tamiris. 
So that could have been an issue as well. We're not trying to cast that skill further, but not really the best approach in there. Um, yeah, another one, Edward and the Manator, Edward YSG, definitely did not win over there. Ramsey's a Manator, once again, win, go in against a Herald and Alexander. Is there more? Um, Cyrus and Manator did not work out very well. We were defeated by Harold and Ale uh, Alexander the Great. So Cyrus wasn't the, the great combinations there. Um, we did a... Oh, this is the one where he had equipments on. So cannot really judge this, I think. He had equipments in here. Um, yep, yeah, so that was that. That was it. Well, if this is very helpful, guys. If you enjoyed this, I want to say first, thank you to those people who have contributed. Mix and from Vtol 1269 thank you very much. Even though we were our enemies or opponents in the KVK, we are still friends outside of the game. And thank you for Apostle of God for sharing us an amazing talent tree as well. Guys, thank you guys for subscribing to this channel and following us and supporting this channel all the way. Smash that thumbs up and I will see you again next time.